Hey everybody, Dr. Angela with the blog for you today. And I want to talk about the importance of setting limits. And I want to do so by telling you this story. I met Lisa in Fairfax, Virginia a few months ago. And Lisa shared the following with me and my class. She told me that she worked for the government. In fact, she works on the Hill. And during her fir very first meeting with her boss, and it was a, a meeting where other people were involved, she said that her boss started yelling and screaming at people and banging on the desk and cursing. And he was just acting like, as my grandmother would say, a pure D fool. People shriveled up and they didn't want to say anything. And, they, and the, the meeting got quiet and, and, and everyone was in fear. And he, he was like a tyrant in this meeting. He wanted them to know he was the boss. After the meeting ended, Lisa waited about an hour and decided to go into his office and ask if he had a moment because she wanted to meet with him and he agreed. She started the conversation this way. What I'm about to say to you, sir, could very well mean that I won't have a job when this conversation is over. I am prepared for that and that's okay. But I need to let you know that what happened in the meeting today is totally unacceptable for me. I refuse to work in a place where someone's screaming at me, cursing at me, yelling at me, and banging on tables and acting the way you acted in that meeting. It's just not something that I choose to deal with, sir. And I wanted to let you know that. And if I need to, pack up my things and go, I will do so. He puts his arms across his chest and he says to her, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. I will watch that. Next meeting, before the meeting starts, he says to Lisa, hey, I'm probably going to act up in this meeting, so you might not want to attend. So what does that tell you? This man knew what he was doing. And because Lisa set a boundary, he was con conscious of not doing it in front of her because she had set her boundary. Now, when I uh, tell that story in my seminars, and even on the day that Lisa shared it with the rest of us, there was this woman in my room who screamed, Oh my God, I could never say that to my boss. And what I said to her was, well, you're not willing to set a limit. You're not willing to set a boundary. You know what, sisters? You have to set boundaries in your life because if you don't, people will walk all over you. Now, let me dissect what Lisa did so that you can have some practical steps to help you do this. The first thing she did was that she described the problem and she was very specific. She described his behavior. She told him that was unacceptable. The second thing she did was that she was positive. She did not put him down for acting that way. She did let him know that it didn't work for her, but she was positive. There was no put down involved. The third thing she did is that she identified her limits, what she expected, and she expressed that. She identified her limits and what she expected, and she expressed that. The fourth thing she did was that she told her boss the consequences of that behavior and how it would affect her that she was no longer, she would not be willing to work in that environment. The next thing is she did is that she got his input. She listened to him and allowed him to speak. And what did he do? He apologized. Then she set the limit now listen to that. She set the limit and she followed through. So those tips are going to come up for you. But here's what I want you to take away from this today. People will push you. 
And we teach people how to treat us by what we allow them to do and what we allow them not to do. So if someone's mistreating you, if they are setting, stepping over an imaginary line, you cannot hold them accountable for stepping over a line that you didn't tell them existed in the first place. So I encourage you, my sisters, to learn to set your boundaries, set your limits, and don't draw the line in the sand. As one of my mentors, Dave Sharp, would say, don't draw the line in the sand. Don't, because see, the water can come up and wash that away. You've got to draw that line in concrete. You've got to draw that line. So if anybody walks over that line, they're going to have to, it's going to be some something involved, some work involved for them to do that. It's important for you, it's important for me, it's important for us as women to learn to set our limits and our boundaries and to enforce them. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Please do feel free to leave your comments down there. You can leave your comments and post them on Facebook. Tweet this vlog to your friends and to your coworkers. Penetrate, 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 penetrate it. I know I'm not saying that right, but you know what I mean. I have a, a, there's a link over there. But send it to the people that you care about, the women in your lives, so that they can live a, a better life and they can have uh, more than they, they have now because they're not setting boundaries. And don't forget, grab my book over there, grab my free report, How You Can Make an Extra 100 Bucks on Kindle, publishing every month. Join me with the second source of income. So this is Dr. A reminding you that we all have gaps. And we all need to close them. I love you, my sister. I'll talk to you soon.